The pattern of employing refugees and asylum seekers in offshore labour has had an immense impact upon organisations due to barriers of communication. This is paramount in this international manufacturing company based in Sydney, with branches in the developing countries of the Asia Pacific region. This is a significant issue due to problems of poor education and training. Furthermore, this organisation has demonstrated factors of putting profit before the people, which goes against corporate social responsibility. In addition, recommendations and the benefits have been implemented below for training and educational programs for those refugees. In this presentation, I would like you to reflect on what your contribution can be to manage and help this economic issue. The first recommendation is seeking training help from the government. This means the company facilitates training programs organized by the government. They provide free TAFE facilities for the first couple of weeks. After this, the company could extend extra financials to the programs, so the refugees are granted their maximum potential and help throughout the business. In addition, another approach to training is teaming up with the Refugee Council in their action for education for all campaign. This is a program that works with universities to provide scholarships to people seeking asylum. This approach will enable this organization to grant their refugee employees with access to higher training and education facilities. Continually, benefits for the first recommendation of government training include the government providing free training programs, which remedy the hurt in refugee psychology. This benefits the society cohesion in boosting the harmony and stabilization. More definitely, it is beneficial as the government provides a chance for refugees who suffer the pain of losing relatives, friends, and homeland to study local cultural and living skills, helping them merge into a new environment. In the other words, refugees will be satisfied with their personal owner when they make achievements or contribute to the company. Consequently, this brings more chance for refugees towards a more concordant and steady direction for the organization. Similarly, benefits in implementing the second recommendation of education include services of the Humanitarian Service Plan. This benefits refugees as they are given extra knowledge and information of the Australian language and thus can use their newfound skill into the workplace. Australian schools provide new communication, interaction and learning facilities for refugees. General education is conducive to knowledge and personal development, which is essential to the integration of the refugees' backgrounds. Overall, the benefits of implementing programs for refugees is essential for the business to succeed in the market and develop quality produced outcomes. Ultimately, the paradox of refugees and asylum seekers impacting a business is inevitable. Employing refugees has been noticed to be an issue in this organisation where refugees are discriminated against for their cultural background and further the lack of education and training has provided a barrier to acceptance. Furthermore, if the international organisation is able to take advantage of the recommendations stated, the business may be able to generate an increase in profits and be socially and economically responsible. Therefore, as a manufacturing company, what difference will you make to ensure a better quality of life for the refugees and a better trained and educated source of employees? <laughs>